It's time to pack my hospital bag for baby number four. I would hope after having three babies in the hospital and then getting ready for this fourth that I would know, at least for myself, uh, what I need and what I don't need. So hopefully you find this list helpful. Obviously there are things that I prefer to bring that others would not find helpful or there are things that I don't think I need and other people would want. So you can take this list as kind of a starting point and then go from there. And I'll explain why I'm bringing items so that you can understand the purpose of me bringing them to the hospital. So I'm gonna split this up into three sections. Things for me, things for baby, and things for dad. So I'm gonna start with the things for me because it is the most that I will be bringing. So for me, I am planning a um, natural childbirth, uh, so no pain relievers, just because my third went very quickly and I ended up not being able to get the epidural. So I'm preparing mentally um, to do that. And one thing that I did find helpful was I was holding, I actually had like a spiky ball, which did not work as well. But I've um, heard that combs, I think a lot of people use wooden combs, but um, you can put, you know, put this, the comb part in the palm of your hand and then kind of like squeeze as you're having contractions. It kind of puts like a little bit of pain and pressure in your palm part and can hopefully relieve a little bit in your brain the pain of the contractions and stuff. And with the ball, it did help some, but it wasn't quite, I think, spiky enough. So I'll be bringing two combs for that. And even if you're not planning a natural birth, um, the contractions leading up to getting your epidural could be pretty bad. And so, you know, having those to deal with the pain until then might be helpful. I'm gonna be bringing one soft bra. This is um, a specific nursing bra, but one that you can pull down. But even if you're not gonna be nursing, just kind of a soft bra um, to be able to wear something comfortable in the hospital. I usually just wear the um, gowns that they have up until me getting ready to go just because you're up going to the bathroom, you're dealing with a lot of stuff. For me, I'm nursing, so I'm just like pulling it down and nursing, and I don't feel the need to wear like cute clothes or anything. It just kind of gets in the way for me. But I do like to have like a soft bra to go with that. After having the baby, and I only use this with my third, and I wish I had had it with all the other ones. Um, this is like a support belt kind of thing. There are like three or five, three different ways that you can wear it. Um, but for me, after giving birth, um, this helps so much. There's like three parts. Hmm, I gotta read the instructions again. Uh, with back support right after, and then it also starts just help helping like squeeze in all that excess skin and everything um, and I just find it very very helpful to have all of that support even right after having the baby so I do like to have that in my hospital bag to start wearing as soon as possible normally my milk does not come in while we're in the hospital we try to leave uh, as close as we can to 24 hours after the baby is born but just in case it does and I do start leaking, I'll just bring like one, one pair. I mean, I think worst case, do they have them there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, like if you end up staying longer, uh, I feel like they should provide those. Eh, 
but I'm not 100% sure. So if you're having like a C-section, um, maybe you can bring more, but usually your milk doesn't come in for a few days afterwards. Anyway, so that's just kind of like an just in case. I probably could get away with not bringing it. This is just a little tube of coconut oil that I put in uh, myself and I use this as kind of like a natural nipple cream and very very helpful and even after 24 hours sometimes you do need it baby is learning to nurse um, you know you're learning to nurse this new baby or your first baby or whatever and so they can get sore if they do start getting really really bad I mean as for a lactation consultant anyways it's just good to do <laughs> and they can just come and check the latch and see if everything's going right and then comfy clothes to go home in so these are not maternity clothes but they're just super super stretchy pants this, oh, I have socks, of course. This is just a nursing shirt, super comfy nursing shirt. And then I'll bring my more like supportive nursing bra to wear home. So this next one is sort of for you, sort of for baby. <laughs> um, maybe this is in the baby category, but a boppy pillow. I uh, have used this actually for all three. This is me, my fourth for babies and I do use it for nursing of course like if you're sitting next to them you can prop the baby up with you sitting there um this doesn't quite bring baby up all the way to here so I do usually like sit in a chair with arm rest that I can prop this up on or like have an additional pillow underneath the side that the baby is nursing on that's just me and then a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'll, I also have one in here for my husband. Um, chapstick, of course. Extra hair tie. I think, you know, normally I have one on my wrist or in my hair. But if I didn't and I'm in labor or just like afterwards and everything and I just want to pull up my hair, it would just be so sad if I didn't have a hair tie that I could do that with. <laughs> um, and then in this little case, I just have some shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, they, I think, usually have some there, but it's just a little case that I have, so I'll be bringing that and then some warm socks, forms of fuzzy socks with grips on the bottom to be able to wear um, either while you're in labor or after as well. So uh, if you live in a place where you need your insurance information, don't forget to bring that. And then if you're going to be doing a birth plan, I have one copy that I keep in my hospital bag and I give it to the nurse right when we get there so that she can review and put it with my chart. And then I always do like a little nurse gift or I guess really anybody. I made six. I probably will not have that many nurses, maybe only two or three um, and then I can just you know leave the rest for whoever else um, may have like helped with the room or whatever uh, or just other nurses they could give them to other nurses so in this one I have a Hershey's bar some gum a pen and then just like a little paper that says thank you so that's what's in all of them each of them have a different colored pen and then um, just a folded up you know, reusable bag that you can put all of the extra goodies that they send you home with. Um, when you have, they usually give you like a pack of diapers and wipes that you'll use in the hospital. You're probably not going to use all of those. So definitely take those home. I like to, you know, take all the mesh panties that are in there. Um, any of those like crackable ice pack things. They'll probably give you some of the, um, you know, uh, numbing spray. They'll have like a little bottle. They have a little um, bulb syringe for baby. I'm trying to think if there's anything else specifically that I like to grab. Um, those are kind of the main things, but it's nice to have an extra bag because you don't 
may not necessarily have extra in your hospital bag. So that's everything I'm packing right now for me, but I will put like a list right next to my bag of things to grab when it is go time. And those things include my AirPods, uh, camera, chargers, brush, deodorant, and of course my purse with my wallet and information in there. So moving on to baby, there's not a whole lot that I bring for baby. Um, I guess the boppy pill might be in this category. But I am going to bring one pacifier. I mean, it's a personal choice. There are lots of different recommendations on when to introduce a pacifier or whatever. I personally think it's up to the parents what they want. Um, you know, there are things that say that they could be nipple confusion. I've never had a problem with that. Definitely have babies refuse the pacifier, which is why I really want to try to do one with this baby, um, you know, or also that they might be sucking on the pacifier and you might miss hunger cues. I am pretty set on like feeding my babies uh, every two hours, especially during the day. And then of course, as I see needed. Um, but so that's, that's just me. That's just me. So you choose you, but I'll be bringing a little pacifier. I will also be bringing this stretchy swaddle and a little bow to take some cute pictures of the baby in the hospital. And then I can, of course, use the blanket on the way home. She'll be born in May, so it's not going to be cold outside. And then a going home outfit. So I just am bringing, you know, like a little onesie and pants. And these are the sock type things that we use. Um, for our children, or at least for the last one or two, I can't remember. But they're just so nice because they stay on their feet so much better, and it's literally just one. You don't have to like keep up with all the little socks. I do have a couple little socks because sometimes I just use them for um, scratch mittens. So I'll bring one pair of socks, or you know, you could bring scratch mittens for them because they may scratch themselves on the way home. Don't want that to happen, and because I'm paranoid, and I think it might be a boy, <laughs> I'm going to bring a, a, a gender neutral onesie just in case. And this one's actually zero to three months because my boy was my biggest. Um, my babies are pretty big anyways, but I, both of my girls were at least able to fit into newborn size for the first couple of weeks or so. And that's everything for baby, because for me personally, I don't want to do a whole bunch of outfit changes. I just have them wear the shirt and a diaper with the blanket in the hospital. It's just easier. And of course, they have the little hat for them to keep their head warm, but it's just easier for me. So last, we have the stuff to bring for dad. So blanket from home, it's just a little bit more comfortable for them um, on that whatever kind of pull-out couch type bed that they have for them. And then I am going to bring, and this is really kind of just mostly for during labor and like right after baby's born if he needs to change clothes um, because for us, he usually will go home once during the day um, to shower, get changed, eat lunch, or eat a, a meal or whatever. Um, but I will bring some like comfortable clothes and sweatpants for him just with one change of full change with socks and everything. Clothes and sweatpants and then I'll bring snacks. Same thing like I said, this is really just kind of like for him to snack on during labor if it, you know, the need arises. Um, and I've brought more snacks than this in the past and we really haven't needed them. Like I said, he'll just go and get food. In the past, some people have brought us food, but that's obviously not going to happen now. But um, yeah, so just something little just in case. And then, they'll, of course, I have his toothbrush in my thing. And then the last minute things I'll put on the list for him to grab would be, of course, his wallet, AirPods, and 
deodorant. And the last thing I wanted to talk about are just some things that I personally don't bring because they are provided at the hospital or I just don't think are necessary. I've talked about a few of them, but here's some other ones. So I do not bring any other underwear um, even to go home because I, you know, usually it's like a day after, 24 hours after I gave birth. Those mesh underwear are really just the most comfortable. They are not, they're snug enough to keep everything together, but they do not like hurt, you know, like, um, you squeeze you in different places. I don't know. <laughs> but they, they're just perfect. This is ever after giving birth. Um, and then going along with that, they provide, you know, all the types of pads and ice packs and all of that kind of stuff, care that you will need in the hospital. So I don't pack any of that stuff. Also, pain reliever, stool softeners, and the numbing spray. They should provide all of that. If they don't, I mean, ask if you need it. Um, I personally... Obviously, you need the pain relief for after. Um, and then stool softeners. I've talked about it in other videos, but after giving birth or even I've heard having a C-section, like you do not want to be straining when you go to the bathroom. So stool softeners are your best friend. And then the numbing spray, of course, is just very, very helpful for down there. So I don't bring any of that. A birthing robe. I know some people bring that because they might be more comfortable in it or it's just cuter basically. Uh, for me, I mean, yeah, I guess they're not made out of the most comfortable material, the hospital robes, but honestly, that's not really what I care about at that point. So to me, it's not that big a deal just to wear the hospital gown is one less thing that I have to pack or worry about cleaning when I get back home, I guess. So I just wear the hospital one. And you may have noticed that I am not packing any makeup. I, when I do wear makeup, it's very minimal at that. And I just, I don't want the extra thing to carry or to have to do in the hospital. I mean, I'll be taking a couple cute pictures, but makeup free is fine for me. You like how that rhymed, right? <laughs> and then diapers and wipes, I already mentioned that they will provide those for baby. So you don't need to bring those. And I don't think... Uh, you know, it's necessary for me to bring like an excess of uh, baby clothes or blankets or different things for the baby in the hospital either. Um, you're just trying to get by and survive until you can go home and have all the stuff that you have set up there. Um, you know, I don't, other than, you know, like the one cute blanket and then the one outfit going home, I don't think for me I need more than that. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful in starting to get together the things for your uh, hospital bag for having your baby. Congratulations if you are pregnant. If you're not, thanks for being here and watching this video. I mean, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.